Hello, hello, veggie fam. It's your girl, Ashley of Herbless Veggies, coming to you with another Test Tuesday. And this week, we are going to be testing out Gardein Ultimate Plant-Based Chicken Filets. Yes, doesn't it kind of look like Chick-fil-A, like a Chick-fil-A sandwich here? I mean, so I'm here for the challenge. That is why you clicked on the thumbnail, so let's get to it. But before we go any further, make sure you're following me on my Instagram at Herbless underscore veggies. Check out my website, eatherblessveggies.com. And for all of you tuning in on YouTube, Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And for all of you newbies, Test Tuesday, this is where we take a vegan plant-based product, thing, food to try, and then we taste test it, we give a star rating, and we wrap up the video at the end because why spend that money, honey? Why spend that money, honey? If you don't have to, I'll do it for you, so stay tuned. Shout out to Gardein. Look at this packaging. I mean, it looks serious, so let's get to it. No dairy, we love it. 23 grams of protein, okay, that's a lot of protein. For all of y'all wondering like how you get your protein, well clearly it's a ton in here, baby. Um, always vegan, which we love, and um, plant protein. So yeah, we love that too. It is made mostly out of wheat from what I'm gathering here. Mostly wheat, water, a little tapioca, a little soy, and then it's giving seasonings too. Garlic powder, onion powder, you know, cause I'm assuming we're gonna get all the seasonings if you're gonna look like a Chick-fil-A sandwich on the front. Okay, don't deceive, don't deceive. <laughs> um, and we can bake it in the oven. They say you can do it in the air fryer too for all of you air fryer lovers. Um, sis, yes, I am sis, I don't have it yet. So we're gonna do the regular oven, bake it for 24 minutes and then we'll get to it. And this is what it kind of looks like on the inside. I mean, these things look big and it's thick one too. Look at, look at this cutlet, look at this cutlet. I had to get my tongs. Look at this cutlet, like what? This thing is, is huge. No wonder you need to cook it for so long. So let's stay tuned. All right, you guys. So it is the big reveal taste test, you know. I'm gonna show what it kind of looks like, the patty cut in half. I mean, look at that. Look at that, it's so meaty, it's so like juicy, it's giving what it needs to give, honey. But how does it taste? I'm gonna cut off a little bit and I'ma let you guys see. Okay, taste test, seasoning, let's go. It's giving me crunch, it's giving me seasoning. I will say it is falling a little victim to, you know when you have flour, and it's like when you fry chicken traditionally, right? Sometimes if you don't cook the flour that good, like that's a, like touching the meat, it's a little like mealy, a little bit soft, you know, like it's still floury. So we are having that kind of taste. So just keep that in mind. When you make it, you might get that little effect, but it is seasoned good. I don't see myself having to add any seasoning. Um, it is giving me the meaty, but it's a little softer. Imagine like they're scallopini, but like two of them in a patty. That's what it's giving me. If you've had the Guardian scallopini before and like stack two of them together, them up that's what it's giving okay that is what it's giving and for those of you who have had it you know what I'm talking about like it's just a little bit of a softer kind of patty it's not super firm so don't don't get that in your mind it'll be like that um but it is giving the crispy the crunchy of a chicken filet if you don't want to have to fry your own chicken baby this is the way for you so with that being said I will give a star rating of a four give it a four because it is a solid option for you okay now does it give chick-fil-a chicken sandwich I, uh -uh. it don't get that it don't give chick-fil-a it don't give popeyes but it gives you what it needs to give which is a chicken sandwich so there you go shout out to Gardein for stepping it up giving us something else giving more options thanks you guys and thank you guys for tuning in <laughs> with your girl ashley of frugless veggies we're always picking up fresh greens on a daily Make sure to follow me on my Instagram at Frogless underscore veggies. Check out my website, eatfrogglessveggies.com. And for all of you tuning in on YouTube, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And did you know I got a cookbook? Yes, y'all, I just launched my first cookbook. Yes, it's called Cooking Up Fresh Greens on a Daily. Make sure to support it. Check it out. I have it on my Instagram, honey. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. And yes. Check you guys out next time for Sunday recipe time.